I'm Christy Myers. Tears streamed down their faces, but the children of the astronaut sat on the front row in this crowd of 15,000 as bravely as their parents went into space. I pray that families and friends will remember our pride and our gratitude and find some refuge in its warmth. God bless them all. It was a comfort to many here that the president came to show that he too cared. He spoke with each family member, hugging many of them. There were tears in the eyes of those who watched. We come together today to mourn the loss of seven brave Americans, to share the grief that we all feel, and perhaps in that sharing to find the strength to bear our sorrow and the courage to look for the seeds of hope. And then the president said what they were all waiting to hear. Every family member I talked to asked specifically that we continue the program, that that is what their departed loved one would want above all else. We will not disappoint them. These people from NASA, the friends and the family needed to hear those words from the president. For them, the space shuttle program must continue so their loved ones won't have died in vain. My neighbors and my friends are all here. It's, it's just too much for words. It makes me feel very patriotic and to know how important it is that I do a good job. Perhaps the most dramatic symbol of the loss, four military jets in the missing man formation. Christy Myers, Channel 2 News, Clear Lake City.